Growing up, I always considered myself normal, just one of the guys. I had some depressive and anxious thoughts, but I just thought everybody did. The real deep depression didn't come until my study abroad experience in Scotland. Being in an entirely new culture away from all my friends and family triggered a much deeper depression than I had ever experienced. I knew something was wrong was going on in my head, but I felt embarrassed by my depression, so I hid it from everybody. My depression continued throughout my senior year. I still continued to hide my depression from everyone, but it was apparent to my friends and family. A breakup with my first serious girlfriend at the end of college triggered my first manic episode. During the week of graduation, I felt euphoric, energized, grandiose, and eventually delusional and paranoid. This feeling lasted six days without any sleep. Luckily, with the help of my friends and family, I made the decision to go to the hospital. After five days in the hospital, I was stabilized on meds, but certainly not feeling completely better. I had been specifically told to not tell anyone about my bipolar because of the discrimination and stigma of mental illness. I felt ashamed of my disorder and didn't tell anyone. I fell into a deeper depression than I had before. I often found myself trying to stop the anxious thoughts of suicide. It was very difficult, but with time, I began to adjust my medication with my doctor and feel better. In January of 2012, seven months after I had gotten out of the hospital, my company transferred me from Worcester, Massachusetts to Sacramento, California. While the move made me completely uneasy and nervous, I was also excited to start fresh. Within the first few days of hanging out with my new roommates, I had told them about my bipolar disorder. To my surprise, they were completely accepting. It's been a fantastic experience educating my friends about bipolar disorder, and they taught me how I am still perfectly normal even with a mental illness. The experience showed me that the stigma and discrimination doesn't exist in the world nearly as severely as I thought. While the medication and therapy helped me feel better, my acceptance of the disorder became complete when I became part of the bipolar community. I felt like I wasn't all alone in this fight anymore and started to get back my self-confidence. I no longer carried my bipolar as something to be ashamed or embarrassed by. I am proud to be bipolar. It's just part of who I am, my genetics. I can't do anything about that besides just live my life to the best of my ability. My recovery process has inspired me to live a happier, healthier life and help others do the same.